Hey, it's Michelle from Michelle Kirsch Creative. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use my tea and coffee Procreate stamp brush set. So I've just opened up a 2000 by 2000 canvas and I'm selecting just a plain teacup to start and stamping that into the center of my canvas. That way you can readjust the size a little bit if you need to. Um, and then I'm going to decorate it. So I am going down to the flowers brush and I'm putting this on a new layer, that way I can easily adjust it if I need to. Now it looks like I'm stamping them one at a time, but I'm actually just dragging the brush slowly. So it looks like one flower is going on at a time, but I'm just holding the brush and moving it across the top of the teacup. And then because it's on its own layer, I can just make any adjustments if it's not quite placed the way that I want. I'm now going to select another brush, so the dots brush, to decorate the saucer. And again, I'm just dragging my brush along the bottom edge. I'm not stamping each dot by itself. Now I'm going to select the tea bag stamp. And I'm going to put that on its own layer as well so that I can move it around if I need to. And maybe resize it a little bit. So I put that into place and then I thought it would be cute to have a little heart on that. So I took the heart brush and if you just put it once, it will stamp just a single heart. You just touch the screen once with it. So now that I've got everything that I want on the cup, I'm just grouping everything and that way I can move it all together if I need to center it um, or move it around on the, camp on the canvas. And I'm just adding um, the little um, steam and again on another layer so that I can move it around or resize. And now I'm going to recolor the cup. So I went down and select the specific layer where the teacup was, and then I selected a color from the tea and coffee color palette that comes with the set. And I'm just selecting the color from the palette and then dragging it from the little color circle in the top right, right into the spot that I want to color. And then to finish, I thought I would add some text. So I went up to the add text and I have white selected, so that's why you can't see the text just yet. So then I selected all the text and I'm going to change the color of it and then change the font. And I'm using my garlic bread font, which is available in my Etsy shop. And then I just position that. Finally, I'm just grouping everything to again, together again once more so that I can just adjust on my canvas and center everything. And there we go. All done.